Everyone, today's video is about changing out the door lock on Maggie. Why? Well, because the keypad does not work. We've changed the batteries. We've done all sorts of things to it. It hasn't worked for over a year. As a matter of fact, we got a hold of Jayco last year and we told them it wasn't working and seeing how Maggie was still under warranty then, they sent us a new one. <laughs> we've just been holding on to it because, well, we've been busy if you've been following along. So today in this uh, overcast day in Texas, we're gonna change it out. This is everything that came in the box. What you're looking at is the Bauer EM model with the HSS technology. All the HSS technology is, is supposedly the batteries will last twice as long as the model. It doesn't have the HSS technology. And if it rains, this can sense it's liquid and not you touching over here to get the things to light up. This is also $50 more than the one that won't do that. So I'll have links down in the description box below in case you're interested in picking one of these up. But everything you're looking at, is what comes in a box and next to that is all we're going to use to put it in as far as taking it out you have two screws on the door edge and you'll have four screws on the back plate so I'm gonna take those out first you're gonna have the last one now when you take this last one out if you already have this one in here you want to be careful because there is a wire that needs to be disconnected before you pull it down, which is right here. And you just want to pull it. Oops. <laughs> my, my wires came out. <laughs> I can I see what the problem is. <laughs> that possibly could have been part of the problem. <laughs> All right, next, just going to take out the door edge screws. Now, for the last screw, I'm going to hold it because, well, Maggie's got full body paint. <laughs> We don't want to scratch your paint. Yeah. When you're holding it, the screw's a lot longer than you think it is. <laughs> All right, you want to come around the other side? All right, then you're just going to lift out. And it's out. Oh, look what color she is underneath. Oh, Jayco doesn't even uh, paint the whole door before putting the lock in, huh? Okay. <laughs> now, the first thing we're going to do, well, we're going to cut this off, <laughs> holding on the keys. open it you gotta bring the deadbolt in and you can open it pull that out there we go all right those will be the two keys that come with it all right make sure the deadbolt is out when you insert it in and just line all these up with all the holes be careful not to scratch your paint if you have paint now trying to hold that and get this screw to work it's two different things and I'm holding the camera. Yeah. Doing the top screw first. You don't have to have it tight, tight, but just enough to hold it up. All right, I'm gonna put the second one in. Then make sure our paint lines match. Yeah, <laughs> that's the whole idea. So we left it a little bit loose. Yeah, when we put the backer plate on, it will come up and it will pick up all that white. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want stroke around my door handle. <laughs> all right, before we put the back plate on, just want to let you know, when the two red dots are in line like that, that is unlock position. Turn it down, it's lock position. Now you can see that we put it in with the lock out. Turn it forward, pull it in. Line up the two red dots. It's just going to line up easier because there's a flat spot. Now it will line up perfectly. Okay, the next thing you want to do, you can see there's a small side to the plug. There's a small hole there. So have the small side down and push it till it clicks. Not sure that you heard that or not. <laughs> then you want to make sure the wire gets up into here so it does not get in the way of the screw hole. And then with the two red dots being lined up, put that on. So you want to line up the flat spot on the knob with the flat spot on the shaft and slide it in. Just like that. All right, and then you want to start with this screw hole here, putting it in. We did line it up on this side. I held it while... I put the screws in. Yes. These will tighten right up. All right, now we're going to put the batteries in and test it to make sure that it works. Positive is up, 
the side positive is down. So, negative, positive up. This one in negative, negative. All right, let's go around the other side and see how it works. Now we're gonna actually show you how to set a personal code in here for yourself. Um, we're it's, gonna show you and then change it for us. It's not gonna be our personal code. No. <laughs> All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna hold the three and the four button and the BP button. You're gonna hold them for two seconds till it beeps three times. Okay, now just enter a code. One, three, five, seven, boom. Four codes, it was green, it accepted it. So now, to lock it, just... It locked. Yep. Okay, unlock, same thing. Now, we're gonna show you something. <laughs> because we have a personal code in it. If you touch just the seven and the, uh, if you touch the seven, eight button and the BP button at the same time, it locks So when you leave and you only gotta touch two buttons to have it lock. Now that doesn't work to unlock it because let's face it, if it did, everyone could get into your RV so you'd still have to use the code that you did to unlock it. Very cool. Now in order to change the personal code a second time, you gotta pull the battery so that it forgets. Because we wouldn't want it to be too easy to change. No, 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 no. So I'm just gonna put them back in and then we'll redo it. It comes with a new strike plate too, which is right here. But this one's actually lined up perfectly. So what we did is we took the screws that came with it because they do have thread sealant on them. Put it in, that's gonna make them keep it nice and tight. And the doors closing perfectly, we'll show you in a minute. But if you wanna change yours out, what you're gonna have to do is come around the edge over here. Now Jayco put this piece in and it's only just glued. I mean, I can pull it, <laughs> pry it out, unscrew it, pry it out, pull it out, slip the new one back in. Does that make sense? Yep, so you slip it out from behind. Yep, yeah, it's gotta come out from behind. So you're gonna kind of tilt it back. You have to pry this piece out a little bit. The chances are, if you already have this kind of a, a strike plate, you're gonna be all set. But if you don't, it comes with one. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with ours. Why well, mess with something that's working? Yep, because it is working. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, a couple of things when it comes to your door lock, especially on the gasers for some reason. You're going down the road and this door just starts rattling like crazy. What you wanna do, is you want to check all of the screws on the strike plate. You want to make sure that they're tight. You want to make sure your backing screws are tight on the lock. The door edge screws, you want to make sure that they're all tight. These two pins, you want to make sure that they line into these two slots. Otherwise, you're going to have problems. Okay? Just make sure everything's tight and it should be okay. You also want to make sure that right here, it's easy to push in. I mean, with, with some resistance. But we've had times where this got so hard that it was hard to actually push in and I would have to slam the door or I'd have to open the, the handle, push on it and release it just to have it lock. Your door should just close with a push. And for those people who don't want to use the keypad, they give you the keys too. There's a dot right here. Stick the key in, turn it to the dot. Come back upright, pull it out. That means locked. To unlock, stick the key in, naturally, the opposite way. Bring it back up, pull out, and you are all set. Friends, I know you want to come out. We're almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know Miss Brandy. So I think that's pretty much it, right? No, one more thing. On this here, if it doesn't do that, take some silicone and squirt on both sides. The top and the bottom. Yeah, and then just, just work it in there again. It should have some resistance, but it shouldn't have so much resistance that you have to force the door closed. Again, just like that. <laughs> so that's going to bring this video to an end. If you like what you saw, we'd appreciate that thumbs up as always. If you want to become part of the Grow and Get Going with us gang, easy for me to say, huh? Hmm. Right down there in the corner, just click it and you're in. If you have any questions, comments, you can put them right down below, or you could just say hi. Because you know we'll say hi back, we always do. Till our next video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We'll get going with us. Bye. Bye.